tu es magnifique, mais la quista elle est enchantée. Ma troisième, c'est le moment, le moment de faire la fête. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle vlogger. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yes, let's get straight to this video. A lot of people always ask me, Funke, how are you so motivated to working out, to committing to getting things done? How do you do it? Like how the hell do you have the energy to do so much and be consistent and be disciplined? So to answer the question, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the 10 things I do every day to keep myself motivated and to assist me and help me in getting things done and just making me overall happy. Number one, I make my bed every single day. Some research about this, about how, you know, if you make your bed, you can become more successful and it's like a correlation. It's for me, making my bed gives me a mental signal that the day has started. I need to get up and go and do something. If my bed is not made, it's easy for me during the day to just go and lie in it. But once it's made, I know I have to shift gears and move, start my day. So that is a great way to just get your day started. Number two, limit your phone usage, especially when you wake up in the morning. We all have that temptation when we wake up, we just slide up, take our phone and look at our phone and we spend a lot of time on it. A great way to combat this is to tell yourself that either, you know what, I'm only gonna spend five minutes once I wake up on my phone before I get my day started. There's an app I use to help me monitor how much time I spend on my phone. And the first time I used this app, I was so shocked, like, oh my God, I spent a lot of time on my phone. So over time, I tried to like reduce it and every day it updates me and lets me know how I'm doing compared to the day before. So this is a great way to also monitor how much time you're spending on your phone. So number three, I listen to podcasts. Podcasts or motivational talks. I listen to Tony Robbins sometimes. I listen to this YouTube channel called, I think it's Be Inspired Daily Motivation Channel. And I have a lot of inspiring talks on there. And I love them because these talks basically challenge me. They challenge my thinking. They give me something to think about. They really push me and urge me on to take in my day. And they leave my mind in such a positive place that even if I had negative things from the day before, it puts me in a position whereby I'm seeing things from a very positive lens and just gets me pumped for the day. If anything, I recommend the podcast thing is every, every day. Do not miss it because it will change your life. Number four, eating healthy. To be honest with you, I, I never used to be the type of person to eat healthy, but once I started eating healthy, like started eating more fruits, more salads, more whole grains, and started cutting out the really bad sugar, like the really bad cereals and things like that, I felt more energized and looked better. I, I was never slouchy anymore. And some of you might say it's really difficult. How do I stop eating healthy? The truth is you start slowly. You slowly start to replace your bad habits. Maybe you used to eat, you know, um, bad sugary cereals in the morning, slowly turn into eating like eggs, like egg white omelets or fruits or porridge or oatmeal. Just slowly make the change and you'll get there. Number five, clean up your space. Especially for me when I'm working at my desk, I cannot work where I see clutter. If my environment is cluttery, my mind is cluttery, I can't think properly. So I advise you to really clean up your space because it really makes you more efficient to focus on what you have to get done and it makes you get it done quickly. I work out every day. Right when I wake up, I find a way to work out, whether it's going to the gym for my kettlebell class or for my boot camp class. If I'm lazy, I stay at home, I watch YouTube videos, workout videos. There are many free videos online that you can work out to. You don't even need an equipment. There are videos out there without equipment, so it's no excuse to say you cannot afford to work out. You can. Even a walk around the block is a workout. Slowly build it up and you get there. When I work out, I feel great. I feel awake. I feel motivated. So for me, that is a perfect way to start my day. Number seven, this was something I was really bad at before. Organize your day. Like once I finish working out, I literally get my calendar together and I put down on my to-do list exactly the deliverables for today. What are the things I want to achieve today? I put them there so that I keep referring back to them at lunchtime, 
midday 2 p.m i'm constantly checking back it's so important for you to have a list of what you're trying to achieve every day because if you don't you're going to miss things out on the list so paramount you need to plan your day and see exactly what you want to get done in that day number eight this is something i never used to do well before but i try to incorporate now is i try to read i'm not just reading things that i enjoy reading or things that i know i try to read other things whether it's a novel whether it's the news whether just read because it's important for your mind taking new information to understand what's going on in the market to learn new things it, it literally makes you sharper it makes you more confident that you know what's going on in life and you know what's going on in other industries so reading is something you should definitely incorporate into your day number nine try to go to bed at the same time every day especially for someone like me that wakes up early it's important to go to bed early and at the same time so that your body is used to that routine there is um, a function on your iphone you can basically set the alarm and tell your iPhone that every day you want to sleep uh, at this time so it reminds you, which is amazing. And so for me, like th around like 10 o'clock, my iPhone's already reminding me that you have to go to bed soon, which is great. Allows me to get a great night's sleep so that I'm ready and pumped for the next day. Number 10, be patient. Yes, don't be so hard on yourself. Tomorrow is a new day tomorrow you can reset the clock and do things again so if things don't go right today that is okay you are allowed a break once in a while so don't be too hard on yourself so guys thank you so much for watching i really hope all the things i mentioned are practical things that can really help you to stay motivated to live better to live healthy and subsequently to be successful in life I wish you guys all the best in your journey and you know what, leave me a few comments if there are things that you do in your daily routine that helps you stay motivated, that keeps you healthy and essentially leading you towards success. Mm -hmm.